Hello and welcome. In the previous video, we learned how we can configure Laravel Mix and Webpack with our Shopify team and everything is set up here. So I have already pushed the code on GitHub. You can access it uh, under my username and then Shopify starter theme here. But before doing that, I'm in this video, I will show you how you can clone it practically and then I will add the video at the end of this repo. So anyone who, who will watch this video in the future, they should be able to add this like practically. So let's see how it is going to work. If I come to the theme here, this is my current theme. I will clone it with a new theme and then I will log into Shopify and then we will install the theme and see how it works. First of all, this is the how to use installation. So all you have to do is just grab this code from or you can just come to the download and copy it from here. Both of them are the same. I just put it there. Now I will come to my desktop and from my desktop I will go to the Shopify tabs and here we have the themes here I will create another folder here and I will give it a test theme name here so this is going to be a test theme and inside here I will open PowerShell to run our command here for the git you cannot paste the code directly here or uh, what you have to do is you have to say git clone and then you can paste the code here I might update the repo to git clone and it just clone my repo here and this is the Shopify starter theme. Now all you have to do is just change directory to Shopify starter theme and open it in your code editor to add some general settings to this one. So far everything should be fine. So this is our new theme and everything is here except the config.yml is empty. If you set your uh, configuration, theme configuration like the password, the Shopify one and the API key here and you run the theme watch everything should work fine and it, it should uh, upload everything you, have, you need to the Shopify team but it is not set up there this is your responsibility I will show you how you do this one in this video so what I will do is I will grab those code from no I will not grab it just I will go to the Shopify admin and I will add it directly so you will understand how it works so here I am in my, shop, my Shopify admin there is two way you can upload your theme here we learned this in the previous video, I will recap it again. If you want to develop your theme or bring any changes, your theme must have the configuration here. And the configuration configuration requires the theme ID and the password API and your shop ID, right? That is all you need to know. The shop URL is fine, like you can easily grab it from here and the password is also you can grab it from the apps and then privates which we discussed in the previous video. But how about the theme ID? Currently we do not have any theme here. If you do not have a theme here, then you cannot grab any ID. One way is you can duplicate this theme here, which you already have, and then grab that ID and then deploy it. I will show you how you can do that one, but I will not do that one. If you come to the theme kit here, Shopify theme kit, and I will show you how the deploy command are going to work. If you come to the commands here, they have a command called deploy, and if you run the deploy command, and the deploy is uh, going to accept some flag here if you wanna run this command with the configuration file and some of them like this will run uh, the deploy without removing files from Shopify if your team have some file already there and you don't wanna delete them you can pass this flag otherwise you can plus this flag they have the shortcut also so this is the option here that you can deploy there is another way you can do this one which I am going to do so if I come to the browser here to the theme directory I will upload another theme here I will come to the directory I have created my theme and I will zip my theme you can select everything except the get Laravel mix readme package.json config. like get ignore these are the stuff we don't need also the source directory this is the files we do not need here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send them to a zip directory and I will upload this one and I will grab the ID that's so simple so that is, this is just an alternative way of doing it. I will come back to my Shopify tabs. Here is the test team. Inside this one, we have another team, and this is the assets. It doesn't matter the name. I'll show you how you can rename it in just a few seconds. After you do this one, so while it is down, like it's al almost done here, so you can rename it now, and this will be Shopify test team you can rename it whatever you want but for us what we need is the ID so you can click on the customize 
this is the Shopify team ID you can grab it from here for now we have a lot of errors and so many of them exist here you, you ha don't have to worry about those stuff but all you can do is you can come to the configuration here just copy this configuration for development you will come to the team this is the team we have don't remember which one was this yes you can paste the code here this will be the password for your team and the team ID so let's grab the team ID first and then we will grab the password also so this is our team ID and the team ID should be inside the quote and now this should be your store URL which is going to be code inspire dev.myshopify we have already discussed this but once again I'm doing it so that you should not make any mistake in the future now for the password I will go again I have it in my local directory I can grab it but for those who don't know where the password is you can just come to the apps here and all the way down you have manage private apps since I have created one private app this is the theme and you can click on this one this is the API we don't need this one we need the password one which is not visible here but you can see it I can regenerate it later you cannot use this one but here is the password you just click on this copy copy to clipboard and you will come here and then I'll paste it here I can change it later I will save it for now that's all you have to know and now you can delete your zip folder and boom everything works fine now if I open the terminal here I can run the team watch and this will watch for any changes in this directory and it will instantly upload them to this store here for example if I come to the layout team if I bring any space here and I save it it should instantly upload this one without any issue if this did it successfully it means everything is fine the other command that you need to run is I will open another terminal and you know the other command is in package.json this one will watch for any changes in our assets assets are like javascript and scss in this directory so if you check out the package.json here we have some script command like div you have hot you have watch hot is extra and we can remove it but for now we have the watch and this will watch for the development every time you develop your team you have to run both of this command because you must like you might bring some changes in javascript and css you should compile it down to the assets directory here up the css and then the, your team watch with it will instantly uh, like upload it to the server so if i run the command for now i will get an error you know why if i run the npm run watch i should get an error because this command will run this one and this is going to run our laravel mix here laravel mix assumes that we have laravel mix here but we do not have laravel mix installed in this directory because this is a fresh new team i will come to the repo here i have described here you have to run npm install before anything to install the node dependencies if you do this step everything else should work fine i'm just confirming i will come to the team here close this one and i will clear the output here for now so now i will run npm install it will take a few seconds to install all the dependencies and it will add a folder called node modules here which you you know like those are all node packages here also you can add those folders to the git directory the git ignore directory git will ignore any changes to that folder because this folder uh, is going to store all our dependencies so it will take a few seconds to install i will pause the video so it is done now now i will run the npm run watch again to see if everything is working fine so everything should work fine as we expect it is going to check anything you have in this directory and it will compile them down to the assets directory we already have the app that css and js but it will compile them down again and it will watch for any changes successfully compiled down and if you check out the other terminal here the team watch one it did upload them successfully so everything works fine for now 
now everything is ready you can start developing your theme using Vue.js you can write ESX code you cannot write any syntax which is a new syntax in SAS and everything should work fine this is the starter theme for our project but any changes I bring it will be in this directory so you can always check the video description and there is a link to this repo you can check all the commits I have here or any other branches and you can see any changes after this when I make any changes I will prefix it with the video number as well as the video title so that you can see the commits and where I am at the time of that recording and you can see what changes I have uh, I have done and you can bring those changes to your theme also make sure you practice it as we go because that is the only way you can learn if you just watch it and then go to the next video you will learn nothing so I can't uh, stop uh, giving advice so that's it in this video I hope it has been informative this was the test theme I will not work on this one the theme that I am working is this one so I bring all the changes in this theme and I will instantly upload any changes to the github that's it for this video I will see you in the next video where I will talk the ultimate guide on Shopify theme development using Vue.js there are so many things you have to know when you are developing a team with Vue.js and that is a lot informative in the next video I will see you